Presidential Decree Number 407, March 5, 1974, creating the municipality of Tiboli in the province of South Cotabato, whereas the tribal councils and tribal datus of Tiboli, Ubo, Laan, Maguindanawan, Manobubli, Tiroray, and Manubus Delf in the province of South Cotabato have expressed their desire to have a municipality of their own, which should allow them to be retain their own culture and traditional life ways, and at the same time bring them within the present framework of our legal and governmental system. Dato Mai Mafaka Tuan, who led the 300 Tibali and the An tribal warriors and risked their lives defending the town against Moro separatists or black shirt rebels in the 1970s, became the first mayor of Tibali by virtue of an appointment issued by the late President Ferdinand Marcos. The interpreter, the warrior, the leader, Dato Mai Mafaka Tuan, a man of vision and determination for his land and his people. The existence and services of Summer Institute of Linguistics, or SIL Philippines, who live among the Tibolis in the southwestern Mindanao, mostly in the province of South Cotabato, played an essential role in the establishment of a productive community for Tiboli people. The SIL trained gospel ministers translators and literacy teachers who later became leaders in different places which later become regular barangays. The development of leaders by the SIL led to the recognition of the Bali people and the creation of the Bali town by the virtue of the presidential decree 407. Tiboli was uh, once part of uh, the municipality of Banga. Sorala, with the help of some missionaries uh, who landed here way back 1954, and also the tribal leaders made a petition for the creation of the municipality of Tiboli, which uh, led by my late father. All the tribal leaders, especially the Sadai and Ubu, called him uh, Mafoko as their godfather, uh, the late uh, Datuk Maituan. With the assistance from uh, the Panamen uh, during the Marcos regime, Presidential Decree 407 was signed, creating the municipality of Tiboli. Dato Mai Tuan, the first mayor of the municipality of Tiboli, appeared in Malakinim Palace with President Ferdinand Marcos and First Lady Imelda Marcos before the creation of the municipality of Tiboli in 1974. That's why on March 5, uh, 1974, the Tiboli was finally created. And on March 16, 1974, uh, the first uh, official took their office. When I assumed my office in 2013, in terms of competitiveness index, we came from the scratch actually. advocacy that we wanted to share to, to my tribe and to my constituent, to the Tibulinians, is to educate them, nourish our people with basic services, improve the life of my people, and to develop this town. And now we landed in rank 43 in the entire Philippines. With the immense collaboration, immeasurable efforts, and dedication of the Tiboli people towards making Tiboli a progressive municipality, Tiboli ranked for the second place in the 2015 most competitive municipalities in the entire Philippines and ranked 40th in 2017 out of more than 900 local government units that participated. The survey was conducted by the Department of Trade and Industry to measure the economic dynamism and business friendliness, efficiency of spending government funds, and transparency mechanisms and efficiency in the delivery of basic services. This only manifests that the Bali is among the performing municipalities in the country and is regarded to have high potential for economic growth and investments. The municipal government of the Bali was also a silver awardee in the 2015 Seal of Good Local Governance. 
The commendation was given by the Department of Interior and local government for exemplifying good practices and financial transparency, efficiency of governmental services, business friendliness, and other developmental parameters. The advent of leaders in Tipoli opened countless opportunities and avenue for changes which brought significant developments in the municipality, making it efficient and effective as it is today. Judged as the cleanest lake in the Region 12 and ranked first in the 2003 and 2004 search for the cleanest inland bodies of water in the whole Philippine archipelago among the top 100 sustainable green destinations of the world. In recognition to the health progress of the local government of Tiboli, through the Dibu Caricon Outreach Program, Mayor Dibu S21 received a special citation and was invited to speak before the medical practitioners and development partners in Manila. Diboli is an eco-cultural tourist destination. It is gifted with gold and mineral reserves, crop plantations, livestock, native products, dinala cloth, fashion accessories, watershed resources, inland fishing, geothermal resources, and wildlife resources. My heart to the Tibuli people is I just wanted to have cultural preservation, more development to come, and I just wanted to establish a solid unity of my people. Because my dream on this municipality is to make it as a component city someday. A city that protects the nature, a city that preserves our culture, and a city that develops our people. Kani sa mga kasimanwa ko, this sa banwa ng Atiboli, Gina uh, hangi ko gid ang inyo nga pagkoopera nga magbuliganay kita para sa pag-asinso kag padayon nga pag-asinso gid sang aton nga banwa na become little to boli all hagat to koy kasa to nawat to koy abay sa dang koy money eduna yung kargi fat to koy nakahatirab to koy do yung benu to koy to boli